when you write the equation of a straight line, there are two ways to write this equation. You can put, either put the equation in slope intercept form, which is y equals to mx plus b, where m is the slope of the straight line, and then b is the y coordinate of the y intercept. Another way to write that is using point slope form, that is y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1, m is equals to slope, and then the x1, y1 is a point on the line. So I have an example, so when m is equals to 4, I have a point, and this is clearly a y-intercept, right? When x is equals to 0, y is equals to negative 3, write the slope-intercept form, so we have to write y equals to mx, which is 4x, and then plus b, right? So plus negative 3, which is y equals to 4x minus 3, and then this is the point slope-intercept form. You see the slope? you see the y-intercept. But what if the given point is not a y-intercept, which is what you see most of the time because they want you to do extra work. So when the line, when the point is not a y-intercept, then you have to use the point slope form. You get a point which is not a y-intercept and then you get the slope. So this is y minus y1, which is 3, equals to slope times x minus x1. And then you have y minus 3 equals to 1 times x plus 2. So this is your point slope form. So this is point slope form. And then usually the book or the, uh, the exam will just ask you to put this in slope intercept form. So slope intercept form, you uh, distribute the slope and then move the minus 3 to the other side. So y minus 3 equals to x plus 2. And then y equals to x 2 plus 3 that is equals to 5, right? So that is equals to 5. So that is equals to 5. And then there you go. This is your slope intercept form. Because you see the slope and the intercept. Right? So let me ask the problem in a different way. I have two points, negative 2, negative 4, and 3, negative 5. I want you to find the slope intercept form and the point slope form. Now, we do not know the slope, right? Let's find the slope using the slope formula. So what's the slope formula? The slope formula is, it, it, it is what? The slope formula is m equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So x1, y1, x2, y2. And then you go ahead and plug it in. So you have negative 5 minus 4 divided by 3 minus negative 2. Then this is a negative 9, this is a positive 5, then that is your slope. And then you grab one of the points, let's just grab the first one, you have y minus y1, so y minus y1 equals to slope, times x minus x1. And then when you clean up the, the minuses, y minus 4 equals to negative 9 over 5, so negative 9 over 5, and then you have x plus 2, and this is the point slope, right? So you get a point, you get a slope. And then you work your way out. So you have y minus 4 equals to negative 9 over 5x, and then minus 18 over 5, right? Minus 18 over 5, and then you add 4 on both sides, so y equals to negative 9 over 5x, uh, that plus 4, you get a 2 over 5. And then this is the slope intercept form. Uh, what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is when x is equals to 0, y is equals to 2 over 5. And then the slope is negative 9 over 5, the number in front of x. Okay, so that is the end of this video. If you like the way I explain this slope-intercept form and stuff, give me a thumbs up, a subscribe, and I will meet you all in the next video for more math lesson. Signing out.